Wie stark ist der Mensch? Wie stark? Wie viel Längste? Wie viel Druck kann er ertragen? When I first left university, I was kind of carrying on this idea. I was looking at the like, kind of um, the idea of you know where can technology fits into painting, but it became very mundane because I was just like, you, it becomes like this kind of really stark imagery that's just based around technology, and it didn't have the soul, and it didn't have what you know. When I look at art, I I, I love to, especially painting. I love to see there's this extra energy to it, and there's a, there's like a there's a, I kind of see there's like a soul within the work or the particular paints that I love. So, and that can be very contemporary work or gestural work. So then I was, I kind of like had this like, kind of always at battle with this idea of, um, you know, that technology is this, should be integrated within the practice, but not, not this work, you're not just replicating that. So it just was a natural thing. It was a natural tool where you could just use Photoshop as quick sketches and you can choose colors really quick and you can do layers of color and you start to build as if you would on a canvas and you kind of preempt certain, uh, you know, kind of certain decisions. So then when you then tr try these things out on canvas, certain things are like almost kind of replicate what would happen on Photoshop. For instance, putting like a, a clear glaze of white over a blue and what happens with the colors to like, you know, the, the kind of stretching something out. So. In that respect, it, it, it lends itself well, um, but and maybe that's where this kind of smooth, soft rendered work comes from. But I try not to kind of pigeonhole myself too much in, into one thing. I always want it to be expanding out and not kind of getting more and more refined. I think I mean that's a real pivotal thing where I'm always on the cusp of it being. You almost push one way where you're. Uh, becoming more refined and your ideas are more refining. And I, I'm always battling against that and I'm trying, I always try to do the opposite where the, everything becomes a lot looser and everything's becoming a lot more, um, you know, kind of playful. But it's a hard one because you, you're kind of battling with your, yourself a little bit. So the selection of works are from different, p different points over about two years. Um, so the, the, the smaller works are, uh, with the, the, the earliest works done in like 2017. And um, I think that was really an important moment for my process, the process of symbolism and refining it down um, to just a few elements. Because before that, it was quite chaotic, the work. Well, not that chaotic, it was a bit more chaotic than it is now. And, um, and that, from that, I started to unpick um, pick the ideas which led on to a series of works that were speaking about different things. So, for instance, the symbolism of the swan um, as just a, as a statement in itself with the bent neck and this, this reoccurring image of this broken neck or this bent neck, um, which occurs in this, these repetitions that occur in each, with each, each painting. But with it, some are more some are more abstracted than others, you know, some are a bit more direct and, um, and others are a bit more obscure. But I think the, the, the selection of works, it was important to show um, some scale, the scale of some works, because there's always that impact. And there's always that special feeling when you look in front of a painting and you can just take it all in, it, fills, you know, it kind of fills you up in a way. And, and I think that's, it was important to show that then also show this idea of light and dark as well and this idea of depth, flatness and, um, and things that slowly reveal and other things that are almost in front of you. Um, but again, with the subjects, they vary. There is a mystery. I, I don't, I like to keep that part of it. Um, although I kind of, everything comes from somewhere. I, I keep it quite open because I think it's quite, it's the beauty of it, it's the beauty of painting to keep that. You know, the thing of like your position within, within art and, and it, I think it becomes more and more relevant as you start to make more work and people start to, you know, even like the small response that I've had, but 
people are engaging, so then you, f you feel like to a certain extent you've got a responsibility, however small that is, but there is a responsibility that you, the work that you show, the lifespan of that work is, like for instance, some of the works in this show, I would never have expected to and gone this far. So, you know, that positioning of, of your place, but that transcends this moment, um, which should be a reflection of this moment and, and the time we're living in. But to a certain extent, I, I hope, well, I think you're always kind of trying to see further than that and um, think of a wider context. It's good to know, what, be aware of your context, whether it's, um, you know, a male painter or a female painter or, or whatever, wherever you're from, you know, around the world and, and knowing that, which then it causes you to think a lot more about uh, about your work and the cause of your work and each painting is different and, and I work in various ways and I normally work on bodies of work um, but I'm always, it's kind of split down the middle of, of kind of two things that I'm thinking about the whole time and that's you know the, the, the subjects, the you know as a, as, a, as a person, as a viewer what are you gonna you know how are you gonna respond to that in terms of the narratives, I mean, it can be very simple things to have, for instance, like the hand, where the hand's placed or how the head's placed and small little subtle things within the works, because the works aren't that complex, you know, very stripped back. So those subtleties speak, you know, a lot when you're looking at the work. So you've got that aspect and then you've got the kind of more just the overall feel and presence of the pa painting. Uh, within the space, which I can't quite put my finger on what that is, and how, I can't really put those into words, but you you know when it's right and you know when it's wrong. Uh, you know when it feels right and when it's not. Don't know if that's I can explain it in words.